before I used to get a lot of damages. My mangoes used to get spoiled. They have got they are insect inside, so I know I cannot sell. But now if you, you, you check at this at this mango tree, if I, I start harvesting, it is there I can sell all of it. Kenya is an agricultural country and 26% uh, of our GDP is actually based on agriculture. So minor crops are not minor as such. But what happens is that uh, the agrochemical industry may be interested in producing a pesticide for uh, control of major pests in a major crop and they may not be interested in a minor crop. Five African countries came together and saw the need for having MRLs for the commodities that they were trading. So we came together as five countries and said, why don't we develop ourselves, build a program that can work, develop our capacity, and also generate data to support registration of these minor crops. And that way we could enhance not just um, the capacity within the country, but most importantly, competitiveness of the agricultural products from these regions. I'm a good farmer. So, in mango production, we have been experiencing some challenges, especially diseases, the challenge of millibats, armpits, white flies, and as we continued to work in the farm, I met an organization who introduced a product called Glossa from the Cordiva company. So recently, we have been using that product. And for the previous years, we've been, production has been increased and diseases reduced. The extra income, in fact, it is uh, helping us to educate our children. See, some of us here are in school. She's learning at Kakamega in Western. So it has helped in uh, paying school fees. So from the money we are getting from the mangoes, we are investing to other projects. In the South Africa of Mango project, uh, a team of 12 uh, KEFIS staff participated. We were trained about uh, the field phase and the laboratory. And mainly in the laboratory, we were trained about uh, GLP, which prepared our staff to be able to carry out the analysis. Through SDDF and support of uh, our funders like Cotiva, we have been able to prove that we can do it locally. We don't need to consume information. Uh, which are generated in other environments, we can also do it within the country. And therefore it has brought coordination, it has brought interaction with other stakeholders. There has also been a lot of impact in terms of the farmers appreciating what we are doing as an institution, what we are doing as a, as a project. And we hope that, uh, you know, with using some of these chemicals, they'll be able to assess safer uh, produce in what uh, they are consuming and also avail safer produce to other, uh, other, other consumers in markets. Controlling insects in my mango farm, the, the way it controls those, those uh, insects, it is more efficient than other products. You can see even the mangoes are very, are very clean. My extra income uh, you see, by you see, like like now, the rains the rains were too much. So you sh if if you, you you had to use fertilizer, more fertilizer, this is from your pocket. When you sell, you have more money. You go to the agrovet fertilizer, you to graze your your your, your shambas. You can see even the the mains is as they are too much. Yes, the harvest will be too high because here I'm getting more money. What does this mean for Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, Senegal to be able to have an MRL for mango 
and a registration of so folks of law for the mango use in the country. It means that now we have a crop protection product available for use on mango. It means also that the quality of mango produced is much, much better. We are able to trade the mango globally and makes it better for the farmer to get more return on their investment and to get better yields also due to minimum uh, loss as a result of pest infestations.